Hello everyone. Um, so this is going to be a lecture about uh, English law, responsible government, particularly accountability. Um, anyway, so we have mechanisms to ensure that the executive is scrutinised and there's ministerial responsibility. So there are two uh, twin convention conventions as individual ministerial responsibility and collective ministerial responsibility. So unsurprisingly, a minister's responsible for what happens in his and her department, even if he didn't actually do it, because it's his, his duty to superintend the civil servants. Might seem unfair, but he's going to take the rap if things go wrong, just need to take the credit if it goes right, which is not all he's doing if it goes right. And then the, the ministers are responsible for the government um, as a whole. So remember the separation of powers in three branches, the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive. The ministers are the executive. Um, so there is a broader constitutional context to this. Um, Parliament holds the government to account. The uh, Her Majesty's most loyal opposition uh, provides uh, critical analysis of what the government is doing, scrutinise what they're doing, asks some tough questions, exposes things if there's any wrongdoing, and then provides an alternative uh, manifesto that people can vote for if they're unhappy with the way the governing party is performing its job people can vote them out and put the opposition in so uh, the thing is there is a partial fusion of the executive and the legislature because the cabinet ministers are in the um are in the legislature different to the situation in the united states for example so we have a party political media uh, this system we have the media as the fourth estate also holding the government to account but anyway there's a responsible government we we'll see what Lord Grey said about it. He said it's a distinguishing characteristic of parliamentary government that requires if powers belonging to the Crown to be exercised through ministers sure and are responsible, responsible for the manner in which they are used. That's Lord Grey, the famous um, uh, Whig politician of the 19th century. Um, anyway, that's enough at the moment. Just a very brief introduction. Thank Toodaloo. you.